Oh, hello there. Welcome to Tommy L Garage 3.0. I am finally able to share my new TLG headquarters, which I will call TLG 3.0 for one simple reason. It is a three car garage. I moved out of my house where I lived for about seven years and that house had a uh, one car garage and I really made it my own. I renovated it, but it just be became too small for all the hobbies that I, that I have, especially car stuff. I like to do a lot of uh, car work and whatnot and doing it in a single car garage just wasn't feasible. So, my wife and I decided late this summer that it was time to move, not only for me to have more garage space, but also for a family to, to have more space and be more secluded. And I gotta say, we found the perfect house, which is essentially a three car garage with a house attached to it. That's how I like to uh, call it. But today I'm gonna walk you through this area, through the space. Now the garage is not exactly in the state I want it to be just yet. Uh, it's going to require some work. But this is gonna be essentially what I'm going to be working with for the unforeseeable future. There's gonna be a lot of exciting stuff, including what's behind door number three. That's right, I already have a car sitting in this spot. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek what it is. Uh, the big reveal is going to be probably in the next uh, week or so. I wanna do, do a proper, proper reveal because this, guy, this car really deserves it. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited of what the future brings. Thank you very much for, for sticking around and, and being with me and I hope you stick around for 3.0 and a lot more. Now, I don't want to reveal too much about where I live, but essentially this is a driveway. It's a bit of a decline and it leads to this pretty wide open area. There's a little parking spot here and uh, this is where the garage is. What's, but what's cool about this space is that there's a lot of seclusion. So not only is it going to give my family and I peace and quiet, but also when I'm filming, there's not going to be a neighbor cutting his or her grass while I'm trying to uh, do some fun stuff. Now you ready for this? Check this out. This is it. This is my new three car garage. Now, uh, if you're wondering why I didn't open the third door, technically I could have, but there's a car hidden here. I'm still gonna show you what it looks like from this angle, uh, but I just, again, don't wanna reveal it just yet. We're still in the middle of moving. We moved a couple of days ago, so there's a lot of stuff that's packed in this garage that needs to go either upstairs, behind, in the shed. So I have a lot of sorting to do. There's a massive snowstorm coming in the next uh, day or two. So I wanna be ready for that first. But yeah, in the next couple of weeks, this is all gonna be cleaned up. Uh, but essentially, yeah, this is, uh, this is what I'll be working with. The driveway here, has seen some better days. There, is, there are actually two dips here, which is kind of difficult because when I pull my car in nose first, the wheels fall into this dip and, uh, and the lip actually catches on the floor. So I'm gonna have to fix this immediately by putting something higher here, but eventually we're probably gonna have to redo this, uh, this driveway. But let me walk you through the garage to show you what's inside. Okay, as you walk in, you can see that we've got three bays. Bay number one, bay number two, and bay number three. And this is where the new car lives. I covered it up because again, I'm not ready to reveal it just yet. Uh, those of you who know their stuff will probably be able to tell by that little wheel that I left there. But again, if you guess it, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, so this is, uh, this is it. This is probably where my car is going to sit. This car is probably gonna sit in bay number one. And uh, this bay will probably use for work or maybe my wife will, will park here. But anyways, first thing you notice about this garage is that it's got tiles. That's right, this garage has tiles in it and there are positives and negatives of having tiles in your garage. The positive, obviously it looks kind of cool, kind of clean. The negative is, I'm not gonna be able to use a jack because if I jack up the car in the garage, I'll be risking uh, cracking these tiles. So I'm actually contemplating 
doing uh, garage tiles, the ones with the grooves so the dirt can fall inside and it's easy to vacuum. Let me know what you think of, about my uh, methodology. Now the ceilings in this garage are fairly high, so high that I am actually able to put a proper lift in here. I don't know how soon this will happen because it'll require me actually modifying the garage opener and the actual garage door to open up closer to the ceiling. Not very, very, uh, I guess, difficult, but it's also not necessarily crucial because I will be getting a quick jack very, very soon. I've got my bikes already hanging in a very disorganized way. And uh, this is what's also cool about this space. Not only is it a three bay garage, but it's got this deep bay in here, which could technically be used to store another car, but this will be my working area. I will have space to park my vehicles, but I'll also have space to work on uh, anything that it is that I'm, that I'm working on. The space came with, uh, with cabinets, but I also obviously brought some of my old stuff, my, my toolboxes and, uh, and whatnot. So yeah, I am super, super excited about this space. The sellers of this house were actually true car fanatics and I'm going to talk about it in my next video. But as you can tell, the garage is fully finished. Typically when you get a garage, the, the walls are not uh, painted and whatnot. Here the walls are painted and that's, it's actually a, a very cool color because it's a black and white accent. You see these black accents here. So the person who had this garage before me was a true, true gearhead. And again, I will get into it in my next video, most likely. But yeah, this is the car. This is the space. And this is a happy face. And that's it. This has been a quick tour of my new headquarters, which again, I will call TLG 3.0. I hope you will like it. If you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. But I'm really, really looking forward to being in the space, working out of this area, working in my garage, having peace and quiet to finally be able to focus on the things I enjoy quite a lot. Family comes first, obviously, but we gotta have our hobbies, right? Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.